Like many jobs, there are safety risks involved when working in a laboratory animal science environment, chemical hazards, animal allergens, sharp tools. It's everyone's job to work smart and safe, but the person primarily in charge of identifying and lowering workplace safety risks is an EHS specialist. EHS stands for Environmental Health and Safety. Let's explore the role of an EHS specialist in laboratory animal care. An environmental health and safety specialist is responsible for planning, implementing, and enforcing an organization's environmental health and safety, or EHS, policies and procedures. Their primary objective is to create a workplace that is safe and healthy for people and the planet. They train staff on proper procedures to avoid workplace accidents or injuries. An EHS specialist uh, works closely with colleagues that work in comparative medicine and work with animals to make sure they have the correct uh, training in place, um, as well as the correct protective equipment, um, as well as the right controls uh, when they're working with animals in the vivarium. Animal allergens are proteins, uh, usually associated with rodents, that sometimes can cause allergic reaction um, in people. So we spent a lot of our time on making sure that our colleagues working with animals have the right protective equipment um, and have the right knowledge in order to prevent those uh, allergies from happening. EHS specialists provide educational guidance and information to animal research staff so they can perform their work as safely as possible. EHS manages the Occupational Health and Safety Program, which is a program designed to detect and prevent animal-related health injuries. A good Occupational Health and Safety Program will follow the guidelines laid out in the Guide for the Care and Use of Laboratory Animals, a manual created by the National Institutes of Health. The EHS specialist also educates students and staff involved in the care of the research animals on the precautions required to prevent personal exposure to safety risks and accidental release of hazards into the environment. Personal protective equipment, commonly referred to as PPE, is equipment worn to minimize exposure to hazards that cause serious workplace injuries and illnesses. These injuries and illnesses may result from contact with chemical, radiological, physical, electrical, mechanical, or other workplace hazards. The EHS specialist provides resources allowing researchers to correctly identify and choose the type of PPE that will protect them when conducting animal research. Personal protective equipment may include items such as gloves, lab coat, face mask, respirators, safety glasses, shoe covers, and earplugs. EHS specialists carry many responsibilities. As you'll find out next, every day on the job is different. A typical day for me, I'd say reviewing protocols to identify hazards and making sure that the research is performed safely. There are many materials that are commonly used in laboratories that are essential for performing life-saving science. Uh, but just some of these materials are also hazardous or risky and I just need to identify those and make sure that the people handling those materials are well trained and know how to handle them safely. A biological hazard is anything that can cause disease in humans, such as a bacteria or a virus. You would know these maybe such as the common cold or influenza. After I'm done with my protocol review, it's not uncommon for me to meet with the researcher in their lab space. In the lab space, I check that they have PPE available for work with their biohazardous agents and that their engineering devices, such as a biosafety cabinet, is certified. So when I visit a lab space to perform an inspection, I'm specifically checking to make sure that the researchers are using the appropriate materials to keep themselves safe from any biological hazards. Things like gloves and safety glasses or an appropriate waste receptacle for syringes or pipette tips. Uh, in addition, we do uh, air monitoring um, as well as noise monitoring in the vivarium to make sure colleagues have a safe uh, workplace. Uh, we also do risk assessments uh, to help colleagues understand the hazards and risks in their environment and make sure the right controls are in place to keep them safe. 
I like to uh, check on the staff that's also um, working in the facilities to make sure they have everything that they need for the day as well as the week. Um, there are a lot of meetings involved um, in regards to planning and making sure all departments uh, know exactly the direction that they need to take um, and how they are essential for the tasks that are due for the certain role. Um, so it varies. It's a lot of support for various departments and um, facilities as well. Um, but it varies and it's a lot of fun. So you never really know what you're going to do until the day starts. What is so exciting about the role that I play in EHS is that I get to be a part of ongoing research. I get to learn about new technologies, new uh, improved models that look at things such as childhood cancer, Alzheimer's, uh, different infectious diseases. It gives me great joy knowing that the research I'm assisting with today will save lives tomorrow. I have an undergraduate degree in environmental science um, and I have a master's degree in occupational health and safety. Uh, and those two in combination give me the right tools in place uh, to make decisions to keep colleagues uh, safe in the vivarium. If you're interested in such a science-based career, I'd recommend taking a lot of biology courses and microbiology courses. For myself, I, was, uh, I took an immunology course and I learned um, so much about how the immune system keeps you healthy. And uh, that has led me into the career I am in today. EHS specialists play an important role in laboratory animal science. They assess risks in the workplace, come up with solutions to minimize or eliminate those risks, and reevaluate the safety program on a regular basis. With the help of these individuals, everyone can complete their work in a way that's safe for the people involved and the environment. This is simply one of many career paths offered in the laboratory animal sciences. To explore other career paths, check out the remaining videos in this series.